in-laws. Now, later on this hour, lots of treats this hour. This is the hour of treats, 4 till 5. This is for you hardcore listeners that are up at uh, ungodly hours, plenty of treats. Not only do we have the mysteries of Loch Ness, not only do we have talk of how to help others as well at Christmas, we can have a bit of poetry. Uh, and uh, what better time? So here we go. This is uh, Ian Black, who had, uh, had one of his poems out the other night. And I've just got to this idea, if you have a poem... Don't be afraid to send it in. Fortune favours the bold. So if you've got a poem you would either like to read out yourself or you would like me to read out, please do get in touch, right? Because it's important that we have different tastes on the show, that we, that we cater. And it's nice to have a bit of sophistication, isn't it? I can be sophisticated when I'm reading other people's poems. Now, I hope I do this one justice. This is again for me in black. But I would like a lot of people to start sending in poetry because it... You know, a good poem can take you somewhere else, can't it, for a minute or two? And that's, uh, that's a pleasant experience, and it's something we don't hear uh, often on the radio. So here we go, The Gunslinger by Ian Black. <clears throat> I always get a bit nervous before. I don't know why I get nervous. I, f- I, feel, I think it takes me back to, like, doing a bit of acting at school, you know. I feel, I feel all nervous as I have to say other people's words. Oh, what am I moaning about? For crying out loud, it's just a poem. Here we go. <laughs> Ian Black, the gunslinger, the loaded gun, the midnight sand, and what it takes to kill a man. The empty street, the stars ablaze, facing an unflinching gaze. Thunderous, my beating heart, twenty paces, worlds apart. The bet is made, my life for pride, swallowing the rage inside. The silent night, the quaking brave, the call to fame or to the grave. I know this sound, the calm before, the midnight song, the final roar, the tolling bell, the shaking hand, and what it takes to kill a man, staring down the pale moonlight, for one of us, it ends tonight. Ooh, that was chilling, wasn't it? It was a good, good poem for Halloween, that. Uh, if you liked that poem by Ian Black, please do uh, tweet me at Matt Ford.